Hi, sorry about that. So we got a little cut off. But anyway, continuing on. So um, I was talking about how I picked the side pieces, the top and bottoms, and the back. Um, these are all three quarter inch pieces. Now we're going to move on to the drawers. The drawers were half an inch pieces because they're not um, they're not really used as much for support. They're only really holding the comic books, um, and so I have a little more leeway room with the with the uh, thickness of the wood. So. In the design, if you recall from the previous video, um, I have the bottom piece uh, bordered by the two side pieces like that. Then I'll have a plexiglass on the front. And the bottom, I didn't really draw it in here, but it's supposed to be a little taller. It's gonna be the same height as the plexiglass, ideally. Um, and I'm gonna have that back piece attached to the rest of the unit, so the two sides and the bottom, like it's gonna be attached last in that sense um, before I put on the plexiglass. So. Um, to build the uh, dimensions of the drawers, for the bottom piece, I decided on 8 inch by 23 inches based on Cougar's video. Um, I liked that size for comic book sizes and um, I felt that 23 inches would give me the depth that I was looking for. So there's one of those per drawer, so 8 per unit. Um, remember there are 8 drawers in the, each of the units. And then 24 total drawers um, for the whole uh for my entire cabinet set. Um, then based on Cougar's video, I noticed that the side of size of the sides was the same as the bottom. So I went ahead and made those also eight and a half, eh, sorry, eight inch by 23 inches um, at half an inch thickness. There are two sides, right, left and right sides, so 16 per unit, a total of 48 um, pieces. So these are basically the same dimensions. So that made it easier to draw things out. Um, and then I had the back piece, um, which I went ahead and said nine inches because it's gonna include the two half inch side thickness pieces plus the bottom. So it's nine inches to cover the entire back. And I made it 11 inches tall to give me clearance at the top so I wouldn't bend any of my books with the weight of all the books pressing to the back. Um, so there were one per unit, one per drawer, sorry, eight per unit, 24 in total. And then for the plexiglass in the front, I made it the same size as the back drawers for the same reason. Um, so 24 of those. Plexiglass gets cut differently and separately, obviously, but I just put that there. Um, and then because I was looking into plexiglass, I had designed a quarter inch, but the quarter inch thickness was really expensive because it was almost double the price of an eighth of an inch. And I wanted to keep this cost low. And I ended up having a lot of extra wood um, once I was done planning my cuts. So what I did was I went ahead and designed a front drawer spacer. So this is going on the inside between the two side pieces and on top of this bottom piece right here. Um, and basically before I put in the plexiglass, I'm going to put that in nail it in or screw it in on either side and on the bottom so it's ni a nice little spacer. Basically what it's going to do is it's going to hold the books back. So instead of the books falling forward and putting pressure on the plexiglass, which was what Cougar was seeing in his video, um, this spacer is going to keep the books from falling forward. Now yes, it does create a um, like a wooden you know cover in a sense, but what I'm doing is I'm going to put a comic book in between that spacer and the plexiglass. So I'll pick one comic to go in between, so it's a nice little like display piece, but it's not, um, you know, the rest of the books are not pressing up against it. So that's what I did right here. Um, I designed it to be eight inches um, across because it's the same uh, width as that, and 10.5 inches tall because I didn't have enough wood left for 11 inch pieces. So I ended up making just a little bit shorter. It also works out because that's, you know, um, another half inch right there. So um, that kind of worked. Um, you'll see in my design, I ended up having a little smaller of these than I wanted to just because um, the how much wood I had left and how many of those front drawers I wanted to make without like, you know, buying more wood. So um, you'll see that it, some of these things changed. Um, one note with the side pieces and with my design was that when I designed it, um, I did not take into account the loss that I was going to have when the wood was cut. So the saw that um, was used when cu was cutting my wood was taking off an eighth of an inch every time um, they made a cut. 
So I ended up losing a little bit more wood. But what I did was, instead of having to buy more, I took these side pieces and I told them, just go ahead and take the extra, like the smaller pieces, I'm just gonna use as the sides because the eight inch tall piece, like the eight inches that they were, you know, basically losing, they were getting about seven inches or so. Um, these, it doesn't really matter how tall they are because none of the other pieces are kind of said, okay, this is how tall you need to be to make this work. Like it was okay that these just ended up being a little bit shorter. So um, not ideal, but something to think about when you're planning if you wanna make the drawers slightly smaller um, so they're more uniform looking. Uh, mine will probably look a little weird probably when it's done. I'm, you know, I don't know how happy I'm gonna be with the final look when some drawers are smaller than the others. But, um, you know, we'll see. I just, I, uh, at that point, I'd already spent a lot of money and I didn't wanna buy more wood. Um, so anyway, uh, outside of the wood pieces, I had a couple other things that I needed to buy. So I had two inch screws for the drawers, three inch screws for the larger pieces. So I ended up getting a couple of, you know, big kits of those. Um, the handles, I wanted to have a handle on the drawers. So when I pulled them out, I didn't put pressure on the plexiglass and accidentally snap it. Um, so I uh, ordered about 24 of those. Um, and one thing I learned was you'll need front mount handles, not back mount handles. So make sure that when you're ordering the handles that they're front mount, or you're gonna to have to come up with something creative. Um, I'm still deciding on exactly which handles I want because the ones I picked were back mount and then I realized that wouldn't work. So now we're just trying to see if the creative option is gonna work, otherwise I'm gonna to have to change them to front mount. Um, you're going to need a, a sliders for each of the drawers. So usually they get sold in sets. I got the Liberty 22 inch, um, full mount, uh, side mount, full ball bearing, drawers, uh, drawer sliders, they're pretty expensive. They're about $15 a piece. Um, they'll come with the pair set. Um, so I'll need like, I needed like 24 of those. Um, but what I liked about them was they were full extension. So it meant that I could pull out the drawer completely and be able to access the comics in the back, which, you know, was the point of having such a deep drawer. The, um, other ones that, Con uh, Cougar had on his, um, those were only going to come out about halfway. And so I wouldn't be able to access almost a foot of comics, which didn't make sense to me. So I spent the extra money, got the nicer sliders, um, and hopefully that those will turn out the way I want them to. Um, also because I decided to go against the white and wanted to do a stain to look more, you know, to give more of a wood look to my cabinet, I had to get stain and lacquer. I ended up getting about a gallon can of lacquer because you need two coats for that. And the stain, I bought one pretty big quart or it was two quarts. I don't remember how big it was, but um, I got a black cherry. So hopefully that will look really nice. Um, and so here I put a bunch of, um, yeah, I put a list of all of the supplies that I would need. Um, and then what I did was, uh, actually I'll do another video. Hold on. I'll do another video.